We stole so much stuff from Stan Laurel and Buster and Charlie Chase and I don't know who else. I've always thought over these years that they would come and haunt me. <laughs> but, but almost every bit I found, I, I stole from those guys. No, I had, I found Buster Keaton in a phone book, like I found Stan back in the 60s, and I found him out in, in uh, Woodland Hills on a little, like a three-quarter acre plot. He had a little, uh, like a bench out in the back, and I had a little electric train that ran along the <laughs> fence there. He'd make you the hot dog and then send him out there. But he, had, but he had a big St. Bernard named Elmer. And we're sitting in the kitchen having coffee. Elmer walked in the screen door and went, Meow. I said, he pulled down his jaw and he had a baby teddy. <laughs> He had found it and he was keeping it. <laughs> you know what I like about this story? When he told it first, he's rushing now. When he told it first, Buster Keaton didn't know what the meow was from. And he had that dead face, face and he looked, he looked at Dick and looked away. And Dick says, he's doing a joke on me. And the cat went, cat went meow again. He didn't know, and then he realized he opened it and found a little thing. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> anyway, I have one story I want to tell about this movie. That is about our friend, the, maybe the greatest single acting talent all around. Thank Hollywood. you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it from the second greatest actor, Mickey Rooney. today because we didn't invite him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him. Oh, Mickey oh. Rooney was going to, I, when I, they said the, the part of cockeye, there was a guy named Chester Conklin who was cross-eyed. Ben Turpin. Ben Turpin. Ben Turpin. Ben Turpin. Ben Turpin. Ben Turpin. Cross-eyed. As we get Mickey Rooney, perfect guy, called Mickey. The first day on the set, I said to Mickey, I said, Mickey, you know, I know it hurts. Keep your eyes crossed. So, when we do long shots, you just look down and, you know, we won't, you won't have to do crossed eyes. You know, it hurts. So he said, uh, and I thought he was joking, he said, uh, I, I can't cross my eyes. <laughs> I said, yeah. He plays drums, he plays every instrument in the world, he can sing, he can tap dance, he can act, he can do everything in the world that, in show business. And he says, no, I'm not, I'm serious, I can't. I said, I can teach you to cross your eyes. I told you to cross your eyes. I said, put, put your finger on the tip of your nose and look at your fingers with both eyes. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. I said, the greatest town in the world, we had a, this, we had to make a prosthesis, a little glass arm that we put in his eyes. We had to have a doctor on the set because when we put the eye in, he teared up and got very red. He got an inflamed eye. So we had to have a doctor. And his nose ran. Constantly. <laughs> yeah. so, it's true. And we, and we, and I never did the picture before where you say, uh, action, uh, roll him, action. Put the eye in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the eye to be in there any longer than you have. That's all. And I started like, 